Hello everyone and welcome back to another railway here at Jubilee Road for Great Western Railway Month. So I hope you're all really enjoying Great Western Railway Month so far. It has been an awful lot of work to get all these videos out to you over the last couple of weeks, but I rather enjoyed it. Well, it's Great Western, why wouldn't I enjoy it? So today we are looking at a Great Western Railway film star. I think you all know which locomotive I am on about. It is Hogwarts Castle. Now I'm sure you're all aware where that locomotive is from and why it's famous. It's actually from, if you didn't know but I reckon you should, from the Harry Potter film franchise and it actually runs the Hogwarts Express to get all their students from London to a made up station called Hogsmeade and today I've got the information on my phone here about the real locomotive which I used in the films and yes it is an actual real locomotive if you didn't know so I've got it on my phone because knowing me I'll forget completely what I'm saying well I know I will so Hogwarts Castle is actually not a castle locomotive class it's actually a Great Western Railway Hall class which again is just here. So the real locomotive actually number is 45972 Alton Hall. Now this loco was built as it says here way back in 30th of April 1937 and obviously was built at Swindon Works. The locomotive then ran all the way up to the 31st of December 1963 so that's when the locomotive was withdrawn and the best part about it the locomotive was then restored back to operational condition in 20th of May 1998 and the locomotive is still with us today so yeah it's a very famous locomotive if you watch the Harry Potter franchises and if you do want to see the locomotive today you have to go to the Warner Brothers studios because it's in there on static display so we are going to take a look at the model of the locomotive and give it a run round the track as well for you now just a little bit of insight the Hogwarts Express now Alton Hall was not actually supposed to be used in the film. It was supposed to be another loco completely. Now, I am going to mention a non-Great Western year locomotive here, so yeah. It was actually supposed to be a Southern Railway class. Southern Railway? Oh no, we can't talk that dirty rubbish around here in Great Western. Where we, oh, I should not have said that. Just messing around. It was actually supposed to be Tor Valley which the locomotive is at the Seven Valley Railway. It was even painted in the red colour for the film. You can see pictures of that. I'm not going to post them today because, well, as I said, Great Western Railway Month and that's not happening. <laughs> but apparently the film director said it looks too modern. I kind of can see where they're thinking and they chose Alton Hall instead. Best decision ever. I think Alton Hall suited it a lot more. And as you know, most of it was filmed in Scotland and the most famous part was the Glenfinnan Viaduct where that flying Ford Anglia comes and plays with the train. Yeah, so realistic that, isn't it? So let's go and have a look at the Hornby model. We'll give it a run on the layout so you can enjoy the sights and sounds of that model. So let's go and take a look at that. And here is Hornby's model of Alton Hall. Now I've decided to buy mine as Alton Hall itself. It has the Alton Hall nameplates on the side and the Great Western on the, the tender and crest just there which you can see. Now if you do want this locomotive as the Hogwarts Castle as it appears in the film Hornby have got you covered. You can buy a sort of a Harry Potter train set where the locomotive comes in and I do believe you can still pick up Hogwarts Castle as a separate locomotive. Um, so yeah, you're definitely covered there. But I've chosen to go for this. This is how the locomotive ran on the main line in the 2000s when it was pulling main line rail tours for West Coast Railways. So I decided to go for that because it fits in more with my layout and the way I run things rather than having it as Hogwarts Castle. So here is the locomotive. It's actually a railroad 
locomotive if you don't know what that is that's their cheaper version of their models so overall it's actually a rather nice model you got the number printed there which is 5972 you got metal buffers you got the metal valve gear and the wheels actually look quite nice on this you have the nameplate there which is Alton Hall they are printed on this not etched pieces number cab side number there and there is the Great Western with the crest in the middle printed actually really rather well there can't go wrong with that co-load yeah looks a bit plastically but you would expect that on a locomotive like this the lining is done rather well uh, the only issue is yes this local is very lightweight you're not gonna pull huge amounts with it but if you have a smaller layout it doesn't really matter but it does come with a DCC decoder socket in the tender so if you want to make it steam you can or just fit a standard 8 pin decoder you can do that as well the biggest thing that lets this model down you might have already spotted it possibly you did is the color that's not really the colour of Alton Hall in its ex Hogwarts Express guise, if you want to say. It just isn't. To be honest, I don't know how Hornby got the shade of red so wrong. Now, if you think it's different, please let me know. It'd be nice to hear from you. But to me, that is so far from what it should be. I don't know what went wrong there, which is unfortunate. But I still like the locomotive. So we're going to give it a quick run back and forth here like I normally do and then we're going to give it a full run with some Maroon Mark 1s as it did in the film series so you can see that as well. So let's give this a quick run and see what we get. This locomotive is actually running on analog so no fancy digital with this one. Obviously this locomotive has been here on the layout for quite some time and it runs very well, smooth and quiet. So let's just go in reverse direction to show you what the locomotive is like while running. I'll just slowly turn the controller up for you using my Gauge Master controller as always. Tad um, jumpy there that one was. If I just bring it to a stop there. Normally it does run way better. Now let's bring it the other way. Ah, there we go. That's far better. As you can see, the model is smooth and quiet while running. There we go. Really rather nice there. Let's stop it there and bring it back into shot completely for you. Ah, that was a much better start off than the first one. Probably just a bit sticky because I don't use this model very often. So, thank you very much for watching today. Please comment underneath the video. Let me know your thoughts. And do you have one of these locomotives or the actual Hogwarts castle itself? Thank you very much for watching today. It's been good to be here again at Jubilee Road running some great Western locomotives. I'm now going to leave you with the sights of it running around Jubilee Road. I'll be back with loads more railway content for you very soon. Bye, everyone.